1967, Cox is looking to expand their slot car range. Ready to run cars with Ackerman steering, remixes from Lotus and Ford, and a new entry from Lola. A remix of Colin Chapman's ultra successful Lotus 40 had the Ackerman steering system, and so did Ford's GT40. Unexpected was a new entry from Hong Kong, a Lotus T70 with an odd gold chassis. I am Doug, thrilled to have you here on the Full Earth Workshop. So what is the Ackerman system? It's a simple system developed in 1817 for carriages, and it's still used in automobiles today. The engineers at Cox designed this Ackerman system for their slot cars. Now, we're not sure whether it speeds up the cars, but it sure does make them look a lot cooler. So, for my slot car restorations, I decided to back engineer this system. It turns out it's a very nice, simple little kit that's available on the Shapeway shop. And look how close it is to the original. These parts are made from the SLS technique, which is selective laser centering. It's a particular nylon that is very similar to the original material that Cox used for their Ackerman steering kit. You'll need a few of these self-tapping screws and a matching set of stainless washers to complete this assembly. It works with the standard Cox magnesium chassis for 124th cars. Pick up a set of matching Cox narrow wheels, and if you watch till the very end of the video, you'll see how you can use Cox threaded knockoffs on the front as well as the back. Two colors are available in the kit. You can buy the white as shown here, or black, which is very similar to the original. Watch closely, I'll show you where to cut. the separated parts and there are five of them. Now the next part of construction is just snapping them together. This works exactly like the original. Here's the right arm. Listen for the snap. Now look closely at the positioning of these arms. Let's go to the other side and as you position it, it snaps into place. From the kits I've received from Shapeways, they're all great quality, but some are a little looser, some a little tighter. You may have to make some adjustments with sandpaper. If you need to, I suggest using 400 grit sandpaper on the bearing surfaces. A little bit of ceramic grease will make it move really smoothly. The Cox engineers of the 1960s did a beautiful job engineering this. Just match up the elliptical joints. Let's try it again. Just one piece to go and our assembly is complete. Let's install the guide. 
The guide operates on a single main pivot, and then there's a rear pivot that operates the entire mechanism. There was a spring on the original. I found that is not necessary because there's a beautiful suspension action in the whole assembly. Cox had a large inventory of wheels that were available in the 1960s. I'm going to show you how to put on a couple. This narrow wheel was meant for the Lotus. Using these 1.7 millimeter by 5 millimeter screws, self-tapping of course, you can put these into place with just a single washer. Here's an original wheel that was intended for the Ford GT40. You can see it's a little wider, but I've made sure that the axle is long enough to operate with these wheels, but doesn't need any cutting. These are tiny little screws that I get together in one hand, then put it toward the axle and do one single twist, then tighten it with a small screwdriver, back it off just a little bit to make sure that the wheel is loose. And of course you do the same thing on the other side. You notice that there's a little extra length to the axle. Well, the reason for that is because you'll be able to use larger wheels if you want to, and it also gives you the opportunity to use one of the knockoffs as a washer. I use the narrow wheels with this assembly, and you'll need narrow tires to go along with those. Luckily, they're easy to find. These particular tires are from Paul Gage, who has a wide variety available here in the States. In Europe, I love slot car tires. Formerly owned by Bruno, the company's been sold to a new owner, and now they're in production again. The same size screws can be used to put in the brushes, or just use the original Cox screws that came with your your slot car. You notice that I've put together this Ackerman assembly without the screw and the spring, but feel free to put one in yours if you'd like. Now there's a chance that you are going to have to adapt your wheels to fit on this Ackerman assembly. That's okay. Just match the diameter of a drill bit to the axle diameter. You'll notice that I'm hand holding this while I drill. <laughs> Not really recommended, but I do like to dabble in danger. I also recommend that you start with a smaller bit and then work your way up slowly to keep them on center. Here's a look at the Paul Gage tires packaging. His tires are one-sided, so you'll have detail on one side, on the other, no. But they look great for most applications. Well, here is the completed assembly and you'll notice that we have knockoff nuts on all four wheels. Very cool. All we need now is to bolt down a body, and here is one, under construction from another series. It looks good, it works well, it is cool. Just remember to hit the subscribe button, and we'll catch you next time.